oh, it's early, it's cold, and I just want to go back to bed, but I can't because I'm working today. Ugh. Bah. First day of the Tome Topple Readathon. It is Friday, so it's the last day of my working week, and I'm going to start reading Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell physically. And then, as for the audiobook that I'll listen to today, I'm not entirely sure. I'm in the middle of listening to Fight Like a Girl by Clementine Ford, which I'm fairly certain is not over 500 pages. And I also started listening to The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan, which is also not over 500 pages. Yeah, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Man, that lighting's really, really awful. Well, I just want to stay in bed. <laughs> I should probably get up and ready to go to work. <laughs> so far. I think I've read about 40 pages of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, but I, I actually don't know. I didn't check before I started driving. I also read about 25 pages of Muse of Nightmares. So essentially I'm buddy reading Muse of Nightmares with my friend in America. She doesn't have an arc of Muse of Nightmares, so we are basically FaceTiming and I am reading the book to her. So uh, I'm really, really enjoying doing that. It's really cool to experience the book with someone else, um, like legitimately at the exact same time. And I've also started listening to The Book of M by Peng Shepherd. So that's really interesting so far. I'm listening to that on my drive to Alex's house. I'm gonna be staying at his so I can go into the city early tomorrow morning, go to go for breakfast, and then I have my book club meeting for the name of the book. And we're gonna be talking about Not Your Sidekick by C. Beatley. So that's my plan at the moment. It's terribly close to home. My sister emailed and said to stay. So I am just getting ready at the moment. Alex left for work like 10 minutes ago, so I've just listened to a little bit of the audiobook this morning as I was getting ready. Back downstairs into the ballroom and pick us out a spot on the east edge and a corner where the wood wall and the glass one. Welcome to the Tome Topple Readathon. Today I'm Jonathan Strange. I'm currently on page 98. I'm struggling to keep focus though. I'll read like half a page and then my mind will wander. I'm also real tired so. I'm over four hours into the book of M so I managed to get a bit of progress today which is cool. Mm. 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 So I'm just in the process of setting up a couple of things. We are doing our live show for the name of the book club for Not Your Sidekick. But uh, this morning I drove back from Alex's house and listened to some more of the Book of M. At the moment I'm exactly 5 hours and 30 minutes into the audiobook. <laughs> Oh, welcome kitties, welcome. Um, but hello everybody, welcome to our live show. The risk of injury or of accidentally forgetting something in the struggle. It was useless anyway. So after the live show this morning, I've continued listening 
to some more of the Book of M. And at the moment, I'm almost 11 hours through. So there's only six hours left. I've made pretty good progress on that. I filmed a book haul today and then I spent a little while tidying my room and trying to find places to put the books on the shelf. As you can see there is a stack on the floor so I have not yet succeeded in putting it on the shelf. The moment I'm just playing a game on my phone and listening to the audiobook at the same time and then whilst that's all happening I've also got my computer up because I'm slowly transferring some video files onto an external hard drive. Enjoying a glass of wine because so... I got everything onto the external hard drive. I imported all of the new video footage onto my laptop, not on the hard drive, and started going about uploading a video. And then my computer just like freezes and is refusing to respond. And then it just turns black, the screen. So I turn it off and turn it on. White screen. Turn it off, turn it on. White screen with a little folder with a question mark, which means it can't find the system software. This is just what I need. So I'm currently in recovery mode trying to troubleshoot this and see if I can get my laptop to turn on so I can back it up and then do like a hard reset and see if that fixes it so I don't lose everything. But I'm just hoping I can get to that stage so I don't lose everything. <laughs> okay. Fuck! <laughs> So I took my computer to the repair shop today because I had no luck trying to troubleshoot things on my own last night. It just wasn't recognizing that there was a hard drive there at all. And so the hard drive was failing. So I was freaking out about like losing all of the videos that I've just filmed and like the video footage I've taken so far for the readathon I'd put onto my computer and deleted from my SD card. My video with Jay Kristoff, the other video with Jay Kristoff, and there's a couple of other vlogs as well. Took it in. And he's like, yep, hard drive's failing. I would recommend getting a new one. Otherwise, this one won't last much longer. If I just do a fix now, it's going to be temporary. But the data was salvageable. So I got my computer fixed and I have all of the data, which is amazing. I'm feeling pretty damn lucky right now. My wallet, on the other hand, is not so happy. And I have about $10 left, which is supposed to last me for the next eight days. Um... My credit card is going to be getting some love this month. Expensive, but I think worth it in the long run because I think my computer will run faster. I can do more with it and hopefully it'll last longer now. But I have been making some progress with reading today. I got a little bit of Jonathan Strange read when I was getting the bus everywhere. And then for the audiobook, I'm over 13 hours through. Yeah, I'm going to finish getting all my stuff together and head on. <laughs> I haven't filmed an update in a little while so I thought I would just check in. Uh, basically yesterday my co-worker borrowed my camera at the end of the day and didn't give it back to me before I had to leave. So I didn't have my camera with me to film anything yesterday. Not that I really did much in the evening. I started watching Shane Dawson's uh, little mini documentary series about Tanacon and uh, fell into a Shane hole. <laughs> That didn't come out how I thought it would. Okay, never mind. I'm almost finished listening to The Book of M. I have less than two hours to go. As for Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, I've made that much progress. It feels like I've been reading this for so long and I'm still not even a third of the way. But I'm going to edit for just a little while and then I'm going to settle in and try and get some reading done. <laughs> finished listening to the book of M and as you could see the ending had me a little bit shook <laughs> 
I didn't know how to react. I don't know how I'm going to process the ending of the Book of M. I've got a lot of feelings. Like, for the majority of the book, I was like, yeah, cool, this is enjoyable, solid book. But the ending just threw a lot of things my way that I wasn't expecting, and now I'm just like, bah! I have questions. But I did really enjoy it, and I really loved the narrators as well. I think they did a really good job. Such a strange book. It was a very strange book. So I've just gotten home now and I've decided to do a bit of tidying up in my room. And while doing that, I was like, okay, I'll listen to a little bit of the audiobook for Jonathan Strange. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a daunting task because normally with audible audiobooks, they're kind of divided by chapter of actual chapters within the book. But because Jonathan Strange is like 30 hours long, their chapter files are just one hour long segments. So it's not actually divided up into all the different chapters. So I was like, oh, this is going to be a little tricky trying to find my spot. I can't just go into the chapter, then skip forward or whatever. I'm a third of the way through the book. There's 32 hours so I just went for like a third of them which was 10 and that started at the very start of chapter 28 and I'm currently two pages into chapter 28 so just my luck. So I'm taking that as a sign that I was meant to listen to the audiobook so I'm gonna stick with that for a couple of hours or something like that. January 1811 <laughs> I've listened to about 40 pages worth of the book at the moment, which I think is pretty good. I've got a couple of pillows going on here, just getting myself comfortable because I just got a message from Red and she has some free time at the moment. So we're going to hop on FaceTime and I'm going to read her some of Views of Nightmares until I guess she falls asleep. Hello. You look so pretty. Okay, chapter 11, the, the chapter title is Cannibals and Virgins. <laughs> Later than I thought it was. I'm usually like fast asleep by like 10.30, but I'm still awake for some reason. My nose is getting blocked and I'm not sure if it's just like from dust from cleaning my room a little bit, or if it's just normal allergies, or if it's because I'm getting sick. Who knows, it could be any or all of the above. <laughs> but I've made a little more progress with Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I've listened to about 60 more pages worth of it and I'm nearing the middle of the book which is great. I'm just having a think about what audiobook I should listen to next because I think when I do pick up reading the physical book of Jonathan Strange I probably won't jump back and forth between listening and reading just because it's going to be too hard to try and find my place each time. But for now I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. So that means I can start listening to another audiobook book. I could listen to A Court of Wings and Ruin or there's also Children of Time by Adrian... Uh, I can't remember his last name. For tonight I need to get tired so I think I'm gonna try reading because that like puts me straight to sleep like last night. <laughs> I had like five minutes of reading and then I was out. <laughs> I have finished up with work for the day. I actually managed to get a lift home with dad this evening. So I read on the car ride home, which is really good. And I haven't actually picked up a different audiobook. I have been continuing with Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, but I've been listening while I'm reading. It's just such a large and dense book that I'm finding it really helpful to listen and read at the same time because listening, my thoughts can trail off a little bit and then reading it, I do slow down a bit. So just having the two ways that I'm absorbing it all at the same time helps me 
take more in, but also speed up the pace a little bit. And I've made a bit of progress today, which is great. And now I'm just heading out to dinner with a friend, which will be really fun. We're gonna go get sushi. So I'm just settled in bed at the moment. I'm hosting some reading sprints over on the Tome Topple Twitter account and making some progress with Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I will get back to you at the end of the sprint to let you know how I'm doing with my page count. Again, I'm reading whilst listening. And this time as well, the challenge that I've set for this reading sprint is a bit of a word hunt. So the amazing Sarah Jane put these together and it's so so handy so she did a bunch of like word hunt things and like I spies for things like colors clothes stuff like that just random kind of prompts um and these are all of the words that we're looking for in the texts and this is me tallying up my points so I've come across like I found the word dawn three times in like one paragraph so that was pretty great and now let's see if I can find a place to put my camera on this flimsy little tripod so you can watch me read back to the double Reading whammy. Where am I? Blot his paper again. I lost my spot. Oh, okay, I found it. We good. Air. Air's a word. Obviously. But that's one of the words that I'm looking for. Air. Boom. I've not been out of the house since Sunday. It caught up the snow that had already fallen and carried it up into the air. So, I my horse's coat into my own breakfast. So when I looked down, we were as white as the hillside, as white as the air, as white as the air. The wind made eerie. What? What? I don't know how to respond to what I just read. You can't just end the volume like that. I mean, you can, and she did, but like, I have questions and theories, but like, this is not the place to do. <laughs> to question things and theorize because you guys might not have read it and I don't want to spoil things. But I'm just, what? Progress is probably a thing I could do. So I'm now on page 633, almost two thirds of the way through the book. I think this morning I was around this mark. So I've read quite a lot today, which I'm really, really pleased with. I'm really enjoying this kind of listening while reading thing. It's working out for me with this book. I'm settling into another reading sprint. Sorry if you can hear some whirring in the background. I've got my heater going because it's starting to get a little bit chilly. I've got myself some sugar because I have no self-control and I'm getting a little bit sleepy. So hopefully that'll perk me up a little bit. I should probably get, I should get some more water as well. Also, I love that this massive book is super floppy. Like I'm doing this and it's barely bending the spine. Oh my God. Give me all the floppy books, please. I think I'm ready to continue on. I momentarily forgot about what had just happened and now I've remembered and I, I'm going to pretend that I didn't just read what I read because um, I don't know what to make of it. Also, the other great thing about floppy books, they just sit open. With this reading sprint, I am challenging people to keep an eye out for mentions of clothing. So they just mentioned cloaks. So just making a note that there was one mentioned there. Okay, good morning. So <laughs> I didn't even make it halfway through the sprint last night and I fell asleep. <laughs> I came to a little before the halfway point and I was like, oh, I'm falling asleep. So I like shut my laptop literally through all the stuff on this side of the bed and then just probably went to sleep with the light still on and everything. I woke up at like two o'clock and then turned the light off and actually went to bed. So yeah, that didn't go quite according to plan, but I still have my book sitting here open <laughs> from last night. I'm at around 664 pages. So I listened slash read to about 30 pages before falling asleep. So I'm having one of those moments where I'm looking at all of the unread books I own and I'm feeling overwhelmed and depressed by how many books there are. 
and how many books I want to read at the same time. I just want to consume so many of these stories right now, but it's physically impossible. And so I just... <sighs> It's so sad. Actually, you know what I can do? I can continue reading the book I'm currently reading so I can take that off my TBR pile and then get into a new book. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm having chocolate at like 8am in the morning. Also, this is something that I've wanted to ask about for a little while, so I might do a poll here. But do you guys prefer my new thumbnails that look like this with like the watercolour paint backgrounds, different things going on in the background, or do you prefer my old ones where it's like my bookshelf in the background? Kind of simple and not doing too much fancy with it. Let me know. I'll, I've got the poll up in the cards. I've been doing the new ones all year so far and I'm getting a little bit tired of them. <laughs> so I wanted to know if you do prefer them and you do find them more appealing to click on or the old ones and then I'll just revert back to the old ones. So we're getting towards the end of the day. I haven't done too much reading today, actually. I listened to a little bit more of Jonathan Strange, but while I was getting ready to do some filming today, I was just watching some Shane Dawson videos. But I did film a whole bunch of videos today. I did a couple of unboxings and then I started to film my challenge video for the Buy New Bibliothon. Annoyingly, I'd filmed like four videos and noticed some lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> so I couldn't really redo unboxings, but I did refilm the other videos that I did where I had lipstick on my teeth because that would just irritate me way too much. And then I filmed another two after that, which is pretty exciting. So I got a bunch of stuff done today. The aftermath is just like got books all over here. I have a whole bunch of books on my floor. There's some unboxing stuff. There's a little squiggly paper everywhere. A few more books over there. It's a bit of a mess right now. But I am finished filming for today so I'm gonna chillax, edit my book haul that I filmed last week and still haven't finished editing because it was super duper long. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I have a headache and I just want to sleep. But I've got things to do. Things to do. I am currently setting up in my backyard because I'm going to be filming some stuff for my day seven challenge because I'm hoping to start filming my day seven challenge for the Buy Your Bibliothon. So this challenge is bookish Etsy shop and it's basically doing a DIY project and creating something that could be sold on a book related Etsy shop. So I'm going to be defacing my copy of Nevernight and I'm going to be painting the edges of the pages. So I don't know how this is going to turn out, it's going to be an experience, but I'm just setting up outside because the first step is I'm going to be spray painting the edges black and then I'm going to go in with a paintbrush and acrylic paint. As you can tell, I used this last year for the Buy New Bibliothon <laughs> Recreate a Book Cover Challenge. As you can see, I've got my camera <laughs> set up on the ground. And uh, yeah, I've just been spray painting my book. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a little bit. And if there are any bits that I missed, I can just touch it up with acrylic paint. So far, so good. But then again, that's only the black layer. So <laughs> we'll see how the painting actually goes. I didn't film any updates yesterday because I went home sick, which wasn't very fun. So I didn't really read anything in the afternoon. I just lay in bed all day and put on some glow. Today I got a little bit more of Jonathan Strange read and um, as I was setting up my camera in the car, the tripod broke. <laughs> so that's great. And then I FaceTimed Red. And we read a little bit more of Muse of Nightmares, which was great. And we finished part one, which is cool. In the meantime, I'm watching some cake decorating videos on YouTube and not reading because I have no reason. 
I really have no reason. I probably should read though if because I would like to finish Jonathan Strange by the end of the readathon and there's two days left so yeah we'll see. <laughs> So I've just gotten to the office and I have a couple of minutes um, spare. So I'm going to finish reading Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I was reading some more on the bus and I have two pages left. I can't believe I've almost finished this book. <sighs> I quite liked that ending. That was a wild ride. Oh my goodness. I really, really enjoyed this book. I honestly didn't really know what to expect from it. And it was just surprisingly funny and it's very descriptive, but not in a tedious sort of way or anything. Like I was really fascinated by all of the descriptions. I have finished my second tome of the Tome Topple Readathon. There's like 14 hours left of the readathon, so I'm not going to start and finish anything. I might just call this the end and continue reading one of like the seven books I'm already in the middle of. Or this evening I might start reading Furyborn, but that also is not technically a tome. It's like 10 pages short. Anyway, I'll figure out what I want to do um, when I've made that decision and I'll get back to you, but um, I'll see you later on today. The sixth round of the Tome Topple Readathon has concluded and I thought I would just wrap up everything that I read during those two weeks. I read a hundred or so pages of Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I started and finished the audiobook for The Book of M by Peng Shepard and I started and finished Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. Honestly I'm so so happy with the reading that I did for this readathon. Not only only, like the achievements that I made in reading such a huge book like with Jonathan Strange before it started I was like yeah I can do this I've got this halfway through the readathon I was like I don't got this but I did manage to finish reading the book as well as another whole book and then some of the third one there were also really great books as well like I'll talk more about my thoughts on each of these books in upcoming reading wrap-ups but the book of M and Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell I really enjoyed I thought they were great reads and would certainly recommend news of nightmares like no surprise Prize. Strange the Dreamer, <laughs> one of my favourite books of all time and I've only read a little bit of it so far but I'm really loving what I'm reading so I'll give you a more definitive idea of what I think of that when I have finished it. Really happy with what I read. But that is all that I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog. I will also be doing reading vlogs for the Buy a New Bibliothon and the Booktubeathon in the coming weeks so look forward to that. But until the next video I will talk to you all in the comments. Bye!